Hello, my name is Ahmed Bashad, and I'm the director of the Johns Hopkins Center for Fetal Therapy. And in this short video, I'd like to tell you our outcomes with a personal care approach to identical twins. When a twin pregnancy arises from two fertilized eggs, it is obligatory that it is a non-identical pr twin pregnancy. There is no connection between the two babies, and you can have a girl and a boy in the same uterus, or um, they can have the identical gender. However, when a twin pregnancy arises from a single fertilized egg, then there is the risk that you get an identical twin pregnancy where both babies are identical and they share a single placenta. And that can ri give rise to a series of complications that you require dedicated monitoring for. The good news is that you can identify babies at risk as early as the first trimester by documenting a single placenta with two gestational sacs. Once you know that, then you can monitor for the top three problems that we get most of referrals for. Looking at size of volume imbalance allows you to detect whether one baby is over or underhydrated. Looking for signs of fetal anemia and thick blood in the other baby gives you an opportunity to pick up this complication. And looking at the size and the fluid of both babies, you get an idea if the placenta is equally shared between babies. These three conditions that have different specific signs are known as TTTS, TAPS, or twin anemia polycythemia sequence, and selective fetal growth restriction. Now, for patients that present with TTTS, the primary treatment that we offer is fetoscopic laser surgery, and it's important to recognize that this technique has significantly advanced over the last decades. Initially, laser surgery oriented itself at the equator and basically took more of the placenta away from the smaller twin that may have been necessary. The selective procedure targets the vessels at their meeting point and improved survival, but one of the problems is recurrent risks, which might be as high as 15%. And over a decade ago, we described the Solomon laser technique that also lasers the equator. And what we showed at that time is significant reduction in recurrence rates. We have now managed over 450 pregnancies at the Johns Hopkins Center for Fetal Therapy. And in the beginning of this year, have published our data with Solomon laser, which basically shows significantly improved outcomes to what was previously reported there's an over 80% chance of survival for recipient and donor twins. The only babies at risk that require special management considerations are those SFGR pregnancies with significant placental issues, and our recurrence rate is well below 3%. This year at the annual meeting of the Society for Maternal Fetal Medicine, we will be presenting our data for the management of TAPS using an approach where we use both laser surgery exchange and blood transfusions in other cases, or a specialized monitoring protocol that allows us to build a safety net so where we can safely monitor the pregnancies, what we have also developed in SFGR, which can complicate up to 30% of TAPS pregnancies. I thank you for your attention.